All right, everybody, let's get it rocking and rolling. I can see you guys are ready. You're excited. Who's excited on a Monday? I'm excited on a Monday. That's because I drink my coffee in the morning. I hope you guys had a great weekend. You're going to have a great week. It's going to be amazing. I've got a good feeling in the air. It's summer here. Let me show you something. This is incredible. It's 31 degrees in Vancouver. That means my, my house has turned into its own private bakery and I'm I'm the the bread here just cooking in my house but it's cool it's better than the rain you should see Vancouver in the winter time that sucks so anyways welcome good morning we're gonna get into it let's put it on the smart screen because that's how we like to do it you can see I got a lot of energy today I don't know it's a Monday but I'm excited what can I say about it all right let's do some shout outs to everyone in the chat because we love you guys hanging out with us hanging out together our international crew we love it so let's do some shout outs judith is in the house hello judith how you doing one of these days we're gonna have to do a video chat i want to meet everybody in this chat but it's hard because of you know basically limited technology but in the future it's gonna get good and maybe we can just all hang out in virtual reality that would be some cool learning you know what I mean? You know what I mean, Mohammed? What's up? How am I doing? I don't know. Feeling pretty good on a Monday. As you can see, I'm pretty pumped up. I got some juice. I don't know why. Maybe it's, uh, maybe, maybe I just love what I do. Maybe that's it. Mm -mm. That's the lesson of the week. Find a job you love to do and do it well. And there you go. And life is good. What's up, Abdul Rafi? Go on. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Don't worry. I'm building to something, but I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Fist bump. Boom. Appreciate you guys there. So let's do some shout outs first. First, we have to wake up, say hello to everybody. I know some of you guys got to go to bed. Hello, Munir. Hab hello, Abdul Rafi. Hello, Yuraso. Hello, Louisa. Hello, Muhammad. Hello, Dorit. Hello, Ziad. My man. Ziad's in the house. Judith is in the house. Dina's in the house. Edgar's in the house. My man, Edgar. Boom. Fist bump. I'm excited. Maybe our first Japanese, or the first Japanese student that I've had here, I think Rou is a Japanese student. Lojain, Lojan, Lojain, hello, how are you? I'm sorry I screwed up your name. Uh, no, 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 no. Who else we got in here? Who, who did I miss? I don't want to miss anybody. Let me give some more shout outs. Lolly's in the house. I know Lolly's always the first one here. Lolly's always in the house. Uh, who else here? Mohammed is in here. Noor, hello, Noor, how you doing? Great to have you back. Mariam, what's up, Mariam? How you doing? Aya, great name. Aya, great name. I'm going to love saying that name. Uh, Baran's in the house. What's up? I understand, Baran. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Ida is in the house. Hello, Ida. How you doing? Hope you're having a good night. Some of you guys are up pretty late. I appreciate it. I will get on. I promise. As soon as I say hello to everybody, I will start this thing and get the show. Get the show on the road. That's the expression of, of today because can't waste too much time talking but spreading love to everyone in the chat mark tar what's up the hope what's up great uh great sign in name very nice jose what's up batter what's up rima what's up okay i think i've said what's up to everybody in the chat now a little bit of sales please check us out on smart this is smart english you can see how we keep it smart in the corner here it's a it's a good setup this is me and you can also check us out on YouTube. Please tell your friends to come hang out, learn a little bit English, get the ball rolling. Yes, I'm, I'm working on it. And you can see we've made, so because we, we listen to you, we've decided to start adding this. So now there's going to be a topic announced every time before you watch. And slowly, slowly, I'm going to go back and start labeling all the old videos. If you want to work on something specific, for example, relative clauses or how to write an awesome essay, you'll be able to go back to the old streams that me and Kareem have done, and you'll be able to check it out and get exactly what you need. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's jump in. This is the topic of the day. And to warm us up, to turn the brain on, get it working, we start with a question of the day. So let me throw that in the chat. And there it is. What is the worst thing which ever happened to you on vacation? We're talking about travel and we're talking about travel problems. And they happen, you know, you can't really avoid them. So let's talk about them. Let's confront those deep uh, issues that you have had while you've been abroad. So let's get into it. You guys tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. Um, why are we making the lesson at a later time? 
Oh, good question. Hope it's about it's about time, teacher time. Um, it's difficult to do it at another time. In the future, we might do some experimenting with the times and try to move it to a different time. So you guys let me know what time is better. I'm guessing earlier for you is better. We'll try to do that in the future. It's difficult. Teachers have responsibilities. But but I hear you. I'm listening. I'm listening to you. I'm with you. All right, so again, I want you to give, it, give us a little story. Tell us a little story. What is the worst thing which ever happened to you on your vacation? If you don't want to tell the number one story, like I personally won't tell you my number one because it's kind of embarrassing, but there are other ones that I'm willing to tell you. So, but why don't you guys do that? I got to think about mine. I can't, I can't think of anything like really tragic that happened while I was on vacation. But tell us, tell us a story. So, you know, give us a little bit of info. So maybe I'll do that first. I'll set the example and you guys can follow, follow me. Uh, so what, what did that what happened to me when I was my, oh yeah okay I've, you've probably heard this before because I've talked about it before if you've been hanging out with us uh, when I was in Italy I was in Rome and a friend of mine we were on the train together and everyone told me Kent don't put your wallet in your side pocket or in your back pocket you'll lose it and I I'm stupid I'm a slow learner so I didn't really listen right away and uh, one little kid took my wallet and then they passed it to some little old lady. I'm making a long story short, it's actually a pretty funny story, but I'm gonna get your answers instead. But anyway, so when I was in Rome, I lost my wallet because I got pickpocketed. And that's a word that we're gonna talk about today. What is a problem that can happen to you while you're, while you're on vacation? And we're gonna add that to the list, and it is pickpocket. And that's the word. I was pickpocketed, so it's a verb. You can use it when somebody grabs something from inside your backpack or your pants. Of course, you are pickpocketed. So when someone, when someone steals, steals from you, uh, and your backpack, your pants. So I'm not really explaining that very well, but pickpocket is when someone steals from you and your pants, your backpack, or something like that. That's how it happens, okay? So when you travel, don't be dumb, don't be a kent, and, uh, <laughs> and don't do that, okay? So let's see what you guys had. Wait a second, Ro lost in a drawing contest. Is that a, is that a travel problem? I'm not sure, <laughs> Ro. Uh, let's see here, what else we got here? Let me go back up to the top of the chat because let's start with those guys. Uh, let's see here, so, no, 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 no. Okay, so Mariam was in a traffic jam. That's not too bad, right? That happens when you go abroad. You get, and again, what is, and this is in the list here. I put that in here because sometimes I'm smart and sometimes I, I hit, the, hit the lottery ticket here. And I think I've got it, get stuck in traffic. It might be in here. Okay, or maybe I didn't, but I'll add it now. So yeah, you could get stuck. I feel like I put that one in there. Get stuck in a traffic. I know I put that one in there. I just did this today. Get stuck in a traffic jam. Yes, that's something that could definitely happen to you. Okay, so you get stuck in a traffic jam. Of course, you know traffic. And stuck is you cannot move. So you get stuck somewhere. You could get stuck anywhere, actually. You could get stuck in the airport. You could get stuck on a train. You could get stuck on a plane. You could get stuck anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. Okay, what else we got here? Mm -hmm. Hope, the hope lost my stuff. So I lost, change that to the past. I lost my stuff. Yeah, you could definitely lose something. Uh, you could get lost as well. So I'm going to go through this list later. I'll come back to it. Uh, Batter, the bus's engine stopped. What is another way to say stopped? Because that, that's a good word, but there is another way in English. And the other way to say stop is break down. So the, the engine broke, broke down. Uh, there you go. So broke down, phrasal verb, stop working, stopped working. Uh, machines, machines only. Your air conditioner broke down, right? The car broke down. Anything with a, which is like a moving machine. Uh, Rima says reservation error. So they, and again, maybe there's another word in here that we can use to that. So for example, here's a word we use in English. Uh, for example, imagine they have 30 hotel rooms and they have 32 people. We call this overbooked. So they, uh, sorry, let's change that to the present. They overbooked our hotel. That's a problem. Uh, another one could be similar, which is sold out, which means you don't have enough. But overbook means there's too many, too many people, not enough rooms. 
So maybe that was the reservation air, Rima. Hello, Faith, what's up? How you doing? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Judas, stolen. So what was stolen? What exactly was stolen? And what's the difference between, for example, mugged or stolen or robbed? How do we use all those things? Because there's a little bit of a difference there. Ro, I believe our first Japanese student, at least as long as I've been here, lost in a drawing contest. A ah, drawing contest. Z had walked into the hotel to check in, but I found out that I had forgotten my wallet at home. Okay, yeah, it happens, travel problem. Mariam got stuck in a road traffic jam. Hello, Hanu, how are you from Saudi Arabia? Lolly, once I got lost in the forest, 1R, and I had to sleep at the Bell Stars all night. Had to sleep with under, maybe under, the beautiful bell, is, a, is, that, is that a French word? The beautiful stars, all night, no da. Uh, Daniel, what's up buddy, how you doing? Come on in, we're talking about travel problems. Edgar, the airline lost my luggage once, but after that I complained and they gave me a first class ticket. Actually, it was good, yeah, it worked out. So there you go, there's another way you can explain it. Hello from Algeria, hello. Ka, Ka, sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Muhammad, I don't think there was something bad which happened to me. All of my vacations were all good and refreshing. Well, that's awesome, Muhammad. You are on a winning streak. That's good for you. So, all right, so this is what we're talking about today. So there's our warm up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump into a few, some of these words are a little bit easy for you guys, so I won't spend too much time, uh, but I will try to focus on a few which might be a little bit, yeah, I know some of these will be easy for you guys, but that's okay. Let's do a few, and then we're going to jump in, and you guys are going to create uh, a lot more interesting stuff for me. So let's start with this one. So here's the next activity. Take a look at where it says speaking. Uh, what I'd like you guys to do is read the sentence and agree or disagree. Classic Kent activity. Um, so here's the first sentence. Uh, I'll try to give you stuff, some new stuff. Actually, maybe I'll just do a new one. Um, I have been mugged on the street while on vacation. Agree or disagree? Depending on the country you live in, maybe this happened to you, maybe it's never happened to you, maybe you can't imagine uh, this ever happening, depending on the country you've lived in. So I have been mugged. What is mugged? So if somebody walks up to you and they say, hey, give me your money, because maybe they have a gun, not a finger, uh, and maybe they have a knife. So they would say, give me your money. We call that a mugging. So have you ever been mugged? It might happen someplace. I've never been mugged, um, but I've, I've met a lot of students who have. Uh, I've met a few students who were, who some, somebody broke into their house and stole everything, and she was held at like gunpoint. Uh, pretty scary, pretty scary stuff. So anyways, go ahead. Feel free to weigh in on this. It, it happens sometimes. It never happened, okay, or it did happen. Could I share the document? Yes, I can. Here you go, Juliana. Oh, not that one. Let's hold on. Get rid of that. Let's go here. Document, document. Mm -hmm. Muhammad says it happens a lot. Faith, never. You never know, you know. Depends. It depends. Some countries it happens like... So Noor said, uh, I have, so again, you're going to say been mugged. I have been mugged two times. Okay, so let me put that word into our category because we want to add it. So mug is a verb. When someone steals something from you by force. Uh, or by threatening you, I guess. Let's use that. Okay, so when you mug someone, you basically go up and you have a knife or maybe a gun or, or just maybe threaten to hurt them, and that's called mugging. Um, Ro disagrees. That's good. It's good that you never had that problem. Nobody wants to be mugged, right? Zia, because you might stray away while you're taking a walk. Good word. So stray away. Stray away means kind of walk, like walk, you know, walk the wrong way, kind of by accident, not your plan. Uh, and get into some places that you don't know. And again, maybe some rough places or some, let me give you a new word, um, sketchy. So here's a word we use. Um, so for example, in Vancouver, there, there are some areas, we, we call them sketchy because they have some uh, drug problems or they're a little bit, maybe kind of a little bit dangerous 
neighborhoods or not sure, you're, you're not sure if you should feel comfortable there. So we call them sketchy. And so you can call people sketchy. You can say, this guy is sketchy. Like, you don't trust this guy. And if you say the neighborhood is sketchy, it means you, you don't trust the neighborhood. You could also say seedy. There's a new one for you as well. Sketchy, seedy neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, not able to be trusted. That's a good way to explain that. There you go. Boom. Hello, Pilar. What's up? How you doing? Come on in. Yeah, risky neighborhood. This is another way to say risky, sketchy, right? So there's a new word for you. Sketchy neighborhood, a seedy neighborhood. Uh, hello, Nicola. What's up? How you doing? Come on in. We're talking about, well, we're not talking about the nicest topic. The question is, have you ever been mugged? Somebody walked up and said, hey, give me your money or your phone or whatever on the street. So not the best topic, but we're, we're moving. We'll do more. Uh, okay, here we go. Do you know this has one? I was mugged at Christmas time. I have never forgotten the feeling after that accident. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I was, wasn't was mugged, but uh, I was um, I was pickpocketed. And I never, you know, you always remember that. I felt so violated. There's a word we use in English. It was, it was pretty, pretty angry about that. It's rough, right? It's a little scary. Uh, Edgar, no, I have never been mugged, but someone stole my necklace when I was walking by the beach. Okay. Better, but sketchy, sketching, yeah, so it's a different word of sketch. Uh, I don't know why we use that word, but sketching, sketch, is, yeah, to draw. But sketchy, as an adjective, means, like, kind of dangerous. Uh, Ziad, I've been mugged a couple of times, but luckily they couldn't get anything out of me. Okay, that's cool. I, I don't know, maybe you guys, there's a strategy for that. Uh, okay, cool, let's do another one. Uh, let's see what are, so again the topic is not crime. We're not talking about crime We're also talking about just bad things that can happen on vacation So let's see what's another thing that which could happen on vacation. I got food poisoning that could happen Food poisoning while traveling abroad Okay, so agree or disagree do you agree or disagree with this? Have you ever gotten food poisoning? And there's different ways to say food poisoning, but uh, I wrote that in the in the one here. So food poisoning, yes. Get usually you get food poisoning. I got food poisoning, right? Or I had food poisoning. Both of those are good. Had or got. Yeah. Ever happened to you? I mean, it, it's, it's happened to me. I travel a lot, so you know, every now and then you run into some country and some sketchy food, and then it happens. Hey girl, oh my god, I will be shy after you read it. Well, I was on vacation and I remember I ate at McDonald's, generally safe, and the food made me sick, so I didn't find the bathroom on time. You're a very brave man, Edgar. You're telling the story that I'm too afraid to tell, so I appreciate that, man. That's good. Uh, not good, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's rough. It happens. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're abroad and you just, yeah, you know. Noor, some guys when they mug you, they will take all your clothes. They'll s they'll take all your clothes. That's crazy. So you'd be standing there naked because they stole all your clothes. That's rough. That's a rough day. <laughs> it's a rough day of traveling. Um, I want to give you guys a new word here. Um, new word sometimes we use like um, is snatch, and snatch is like grab. So if you were walking down the street, and I think, uh, who said it? I think Edgar said it. Somebody snatched his necklace. So maybe just grabbed it and like ran away. That's called snatch because it, it's kind of like uh, to grab quickly. Uh, so there's a, a word you guys could use as well. Somebody snatched my purse, for example. That would be a common one to grab quickly. Grab is quick, but snatch is faster. Somebody snatched my purse. So you could say snatch, you could say grab. What else could you say? Snatch, grab. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Okay, what else here? Uh, let me give you a new one because this is a good word. And this one happens, every, everyone. I have been ripped off uh, when buying something abroad. And abroad is overseas, right? So agree or disagree? ripped off so if you don't know ripped off so for example let's say and I gotta tell you about something that happened to me today let's say this cell phone let's say this wonderful brand new iPhone 
uh, normally costs okay but I don't know I don't know what it costs let's say I want to buy this this phone and this phone you know I say and the guy says okay I'll sell you this phone for you know four hundred dollars and I don't really know I don't really know the price I say oh okay you know it sounds a little bit much but okay I'll, I'll pay you so I pay four hundred dollars for this phone later I go home and I, I, I search on the internet I see the price of this phone is only one hundred dollars and so I was ripped off somebody charged me charged me too much money and took my money I was ripped off I basically paid this much money but the product is not worth that much money so have you ever been ripped off I'm sure it's happened maybe some and that's the thing I think tourists when you go abroad they have the tourist prices and then they have the local prices so it's it's everybody tries to rip you off when you go abroad right so not actually ripped but ripped off um, so Ziad says yeah once we went to a restaurant order some Chinese food it was inedible. You cannot eat it. It was so bad. So we simply changed the restaurant because it happens a lot in my city. We didn't even bother complaining. We just, whatever. So we went to a restaurant, ordered some, but it was inedible. Yeah, it was, yeah, inedible. So we simply changed the restaurant. Changed, switched the restaurant, uh, headed off to a new restaurant because it happens a lot. There we go. Didn't even bother complaining. There we go. Yeah. Sometimes it's not worth your time to complain, right? Noor, someone snatched, good word, somebody snatched my phone when I was riding the bus. That sucks. That sucks as well. I guess the other option is just carry a bad phone. Maybe you could, you guys want, you can take my phone if you go traveling. It's an iPhone, it's an old iPhone, it really sucks. And I don't care if I lose it, so that's the good thing about my phone. I really don't care if it, somebody like stole it from me. I'd be like, yeah, it's okay, it's time to buy a new phone anyways. Uh, so yeah, people who get ripped off are usually losers. Well, I've been ripped off, Ziad. So you're calling me a loser? I think everybody's been ripped off somewhere. I think, no? People who, people who rip other people off are losers. I totally agree with that. But sometimes people get ripped off. Like, you know, you go downtown and you buy something at a store. You could say, oh, I think I paid too much money. I got ripped off. So sometimes we just say it because we think, oh, I paid too much money. I got ripped off. So you could kind of say it almost any time you feel you paid too much money. Uh, Zuleni, what's up? How you doing? Come on in. We're talking about travel problems and have you ever been ripped off when buying something? Nicola, but your data. Return data. What about data? Well, I guess you would lose your data. That would suck. Edgar's got another. Edgar's got lots of stories. Edgar, I was traveling in Peru, good country, and I remember when I took a taxi from the airport to the hotel and the driver charged me 10 times more than it was supposed to be. How can you solve the ripoff? Great question. I don't think you can. I think it's impossible. Like, you know, you go, Edgar said, you go to another country. I've been to another country. I don't know the prices. Edgar doesn't know the prices. And we also don't know how far from the airport to the hotel. So we could go all the way around the city and then finally get to the hotel. We pay 10 times more money. I guess the solution for that problem is to call a, a, a hotel or a hostel, which will pick you up for free or for a small charge and then you know exactly how much you're going to pay. That's the solution for that problem, I think. Uh, Faith, I have always been I have oh I have been always been ripped off without even going abroad. Yeah, there you go. See, it happens all the time. Everybody gets ripped off sometimes, right? I got ripped off. Uh, I got ripped off with my new phone. With my new phone. Yeah. Okay, Noor, good. Not good, but I mean, good sentence. Mohammed, was there a lot of money in your wallet? Who, 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 who are we talking about? Who's talking about the wallet here? Uh, maybe my wallet? If you're talking about my wallet, no, there wasn't that much money, but it was just felt bad, felt sh crappy that somebody went and grabbed my stuff from me while I was there. If, if that was your question, that just sucks, that's all. Maybe you can do research before traveling. There's a good solution. There's a good smart solution by Nicola. Do your research. Sometimes it's hard because it's really specific, right? Like airport to my hotel. How much does it cost? I have no idea. But some countries have um, approved taxis. Like this taxi is safe and this taxi is not safe. So that's they try to stop, combat those problems. They try to combat these things. Okay, so here, this is pretty good. This was a good little introduction. Um, and the other word was rip off. So let me add that to your, to your list here. Rip off. Uh, rip someone off. Phrasal verb. 
pay too much money for something. Okay, good. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I think we're going to I'm going to get you guys to teach me some stuff and we're going to make our own sentences after. So what I'd like you guys to do is search the internet and I want you to find uh, search the internet for uh, travel vocabulary because we're talking about bad things that can happen on vacation, right? So let's start with that. So travel vocabulary, and then you can, some of you, if maybe some of you guys want to search travel vocab, some of you guys can search accident vocabulary, because it's kind of that topic as well. Some accidents that can happen, right? I'm going to try to show you a video later. It's a funny video. Um, I can't show it here because it's copyrighted, but I can give you the video and then you can watch it while I do some pictures and stuff like that. So we'll do that after. And we're going to look at different ways, uh, different kinds of accidents that happen. All right, so let's take a look at this one here. So I want you guys to do that. Go ahead. I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go to the internet, our friend Google, and let's take a look. I don't know if Google's our friend. I think Google's got global domination on the mind, but that's cool. Go ahead, Google. Do your thing. Diddle someone out. Great word, Mariam. Diddle someone out. Does that really mean like take somebody's money, diddle someone out. Diddle, I gotta check that, that's a good one. Diddle. Cheat, swindle, diddle. I've never, I've, maybe I've heard that word before, but I've never spoken it. Diddle someone out, okay, rip them off. I guess it's basically the same thing. Interesting, whoa, okay, let's uh, stop Googling that. There's a little more information there than I thought. So let's look at, I'll start with the first one. I'll start with travel vocabulary. And let's see what comes up. And we'll see if we can find you some, some new stuff, some new vocab that you don't know. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, I agree. OK, so yeah, of course, things you do on vacation. So the topic, of course, travel, uh, travel accidents, right? Travel problems and accidents. OK, so let's focus on the problems and the accidents as well. Uh, let's see here. No, 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 no. Let's, okay, I'm going to go straight to travel accidents. Accident vocabulary. Let's go straight to that because I think that's really, Google is my uncle. Well, that's nice, Dina. It's nice to have an uncle that knows everything. All right, so let's car accidents. No, let's just, just get r r travel. Here we go. What else we got here? Vocabulary for, okay, collision. Okay, oh, there's a few here. I'll steal a few of these from here. So you could get into a collision. I was in a collision, which is basically a crash. Definitely something that could happen on vacation. All right, so I'm putting these all in the documents so you guys will have them for later. So you could say, a crash. Um, I was, in, and we usually say I was in a crash. So let's put that whole thing and be in a crash or a collision. Or an accident, same thing. Boom. So you got those three. Definitely, it can happen, right? If you're if you're driving when you do some kind of uh, rental car or something like that. Brakes fail. Speeding. Yeah. Okay. What else you got? What do you guys got? The car collided into. Okay. Yeah. So you could collide into something as well. That's another verb you could use. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, travel. Traffic accidents. Here we go. Accidents and injuries. So let's see what could happen here. And we've done a little bit of this before, haven't we? We did a little bit on this topic here. Uh, let's see what else we got. This is some kind of website here. A mid-air collision. Yeah, I guess that's possible. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be the craziest vacation ever. And you probably wouldn't live to tell the tale. Um, but yeah. OK, so the car turned over three times after colliding into the tree. OK. So again, turned over, you could also use the word flipped, uh, F-L-I-P, flipped over as well, right? Boat flip, capsized with a S-I-Z. Yeah, okay, let's put that. I guess your, your, your cruise, your boat, uh, capsized. So there's a, there's a sailing word for you. You didn't know, this means basically sink. So something could sink or capsize, usually a boat. Okay, so there's a word sink or capsize. Boats. 
not, how do I say, what's the opposite, not floating? Boats sinking. Okay, sink, you know sink, so that should be fine. All right, there we go. A derailment. There's, yeah, that could definitely happen, right? A derailment is when the, the train, the train goes off the tracks. And that's another thing you could say. Um, so let's use it as a verb. You can say the train derailed. Or you could say that the train uh, goes, went off the tracks. That's kind of the normal way to say it. So we got this one, derail as a verb. And go off the tracks is a kind of a collocation. Went off the tracks. Boom. The train leaves tracks. Boom. OK, there we go. Uh, what else we got here? Accidents, car, traffic accidents. OK, well, let's n internet's not being useful. Let's just use, use what else we got. What else could you have? You could, you could get the runs. All right, let's talk honestly. Edgar, this one's for you, buddy. Uh, another way to say this word in English is diarrhea. You get diarrhea, and it's the same idea. So get di I don't even know how to spell diarrhea. That's the hardest thing in the world to spell. How do you spell it? Dia diarrhea. There it is. Double R E H A H E A. Diarrhea. There we go. She doesn't look very happy, does she? There's a song. I'm not going to teach you the song, but you could Google it. There's a diarrhea song. So diarrhea. Ta -ta -ta. Double R E H -A H E A. Okay. So when you have this bad poop, that's not really poop, but just kind of you know Google it. You have Google. You do. You got to take a laxative sometimes. Uh, and the opposite of diarrhea would be constipated. So get constipated. Look at that. I'm giving you all the most amazing words today. So you guys, you'll be like, when you go and go to another country, you'll know exactly what to say in English. You'll be like, doctor, I got the diarrhea. I got the runs. Please help me out. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. That one's, uh, that one's on me. OK, so there we go. There's another combination of words. <laughs> I'll let you guys Google those ones. I'm not going to write those ones. Yeah, that's it. Diarrhea. That's what we're talking about today. You got it. That little poop that's looking concerned there. Hello, Saeed. We're, we're actually talking about the runs. Have you ever had the runs? Anyways. Yeah, there you go, Mr. David. You got it. You, how'd you know? He knew the diarrhea song. It's when you're sitting on the couch and you're feeling... When, you, when you're sitting in your Chevy, your truck, that was the old one. When you're sitting in your Chevy and your pants are feeling heavy. Diarrhea. Da, 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 diarrhea. There we go. Kidnapping. Yeah, that could definitely happen. This one, I've heard some stories about, but this I know in some countries this does happen. When you steal a person. We don't say steal a person, but we say kidnap. Steal a person. Yeah. Kidnap. Yeah, I know this happens in some countries, and I know it's, uh, I know certain countries like the Philippines has had this happen. I know Brazil had a history of it as well. It's, uh, it happens every now and then, right? It's pretty sad, but, uh, but it does happen. India, this thing happens as well. Uh, there we go. Kidnap. Yeah, that could happen. Somebody could get kidnapped while you're on vacation. So again, the topic is kind of travel, vacation problems, things that can happen to you. Um, you get your passport stolen. You get robbed. So again, another one similar to mugged would be robbed. We'll just put robbed. Get robbed. Mm -hmm. Someone steals from you. Okay, boom, there we go. Yeah, probably everybody's had it, buddy. You know, you're right. Okay, so let's let's look, let's not do any. Let's do a different one. Let's go. Problems you can have while traveling. Because this will probably give us better. Here we go. Six common. Ten. Here we go. Let's look at this one travel snags. There we go. Let's see what the internet has to tell us about travel. Ten problems every traveler faces you have and why they're worth it. Leaving home, okay. Coming home, those aren't problems. Danger, okay, this is not helpful. This is not what I want. Common problems, common travel snags. A snag is when you, when you have a, it basically means a problem. 
Okay, so you lost or damaged luggage. Yeah, this is definitely one that happens to everybody, right? You, somebody, you damaged my luggage was damaged. So let's add that luggage was damaged. Luggage is damaged. Let's change that. Okay, boom, we got that one there. What else we got here? Cancelled or delayed flight, right? And there's different ways to say that. You can say cancelled. You can say uh, cancelled, of course, they don't. You can say delayed, postponed, and held up is another one. And I put that on the document there. So we'll go through that after as well. Overbooked, we talked about that, right? Overbooked, overbooked, lost or stolen, cancellation, getting sick, it happens. Language barriers, there we go, that's a good one. Uh, you don't speak the local language, so you have uh, language barriers. You don't know how to ask for something. We have some pretty good, I got some pretty good ones about language barriers. Usually it's uh, when I was traveling with a friend. They don't know how to speak and they just, they do their best. It was pretty funny. So language barriers, when you go to another country, when you don't know the local language, don't speak or no. Let's say speak or no. Okay, cool. Oh, there's another one. Good. Jet lag. Right. I think we talked about this one the other day. Jet lag. When you get off the airplane and your, your body, your internal clock is not set up, not reset yet, jet lag. So being tired from time, time change. Boom. Insects. Yeah. Filthy hotel. So filthy means really dirty, right? So uh, yeah, let's put that up. Filthy hotel. Dirty, nasty, you could also say nasty hotel. Boom. Okay, self explanatory. Attack by mosquitoes, sign language comes in handy. Yeah. Forgetting your passport, yes. On a tight budget. Yeah, I don't know if it's a travel problem. I guess it could be, right? You are you are on a tight budget. Um a shark attack would be a big problem. Yeah, I agree. That would be a big one. Hello, Mundasar. Welcome. Come on in, buddy. Um, sunburn. Yeah, sunburn would be a travel problem, right? Especially for white people like me. You get a sunburn pretty easily. Your sun, your skin gets too much sun. Uh, if any of you guys are arriving late, let me throw that document. Losing your kid. Yeah, that would be a problem. Oops. Let me throw this document in here just in case you don't have it. So if you guys are new new to the chat, please take a copy of this. This is everything we're working on today. Open it up in your Google Docs so you can, you can follow along with us. Uh, yeah, you lose your way. We don't, we, you, you can say get lost, right? Easy, just get lost, it's finished. Or you could say lose your way, and both of those work as well. And I think I have that in here. Lose something, go the wrong way, lose your way. Where is it? Get lost, lose your way. Lose someone's way. There you go. Lose direction. You don't know where you are. You get lost. Okay. You could have an accident with a rental, rental, AL, rental car. Yes, you definitely could. Sunstroke. Yeah. And that's a, that's a little bit stronger than sunburn, right? Um, I believe sunstroke. Let's take a look at that. Sunstroke definition. Heat stroke. Or sunstroke, same thing, brought about by excessive exposure. So yeah, more serious. A sunburn is just your skin is red. Uh, sunstroke would be a lot more serious. I should be using GIFs right now. I'm going to do that next. So sun heat stroke or sunstroke. It's really, really too much sun. You're going to get sick. Uh, and you usually have, I have heat stroke or I have sunstroke. Okay, so there we go. Okay, cool. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me add a, f a few things just about flights. So, for example, you have a layover, a long layover. So it could be a problem. What is a layover? So when you go to what you want, let's say I want to go to Turkey, but I have to stop in Amsterdam. So Amsterdam is my layover before I go to Turkey. So you have a layover. It could be a problem if it's a long layover. So maybe I'll just add that there. So you have a long layover, um, a stop in another airport. Could be a problem. 
you lose your family? Yeah, that would be a big problem, Dina. I agree. Don't lose your family. Um, uh, what else we got? Some countries don't let you drive with your local driver's license. Yeah, that's true. You sometimes have to get an international driver's license if you want to drive. All right, so we've got, some, we've got a lot of good words here. So I think what I'll get you guys to do is I'd like you to take all of this vocabulary. So take everything we learned today and make sentences, use the vocab, talk about, oh, there we go, your travel experiences. Okay, so this is what I'd like you guys to do. Take everything. I think you've been, some of you guys have been doing it already, but I would like you guys to take anything that we've learned today, <laughs> you know, some of this stuff, some good words in here uh, for problems on vacation, and you can take any of these words that, we, that I have in this document. I want you to make your own sentence about yourself and tell me about your travel experiences. So, for example, maybe you had food poisoning. Maybe you want to tell us about that, or maybe you don't. Maybe you missed your flight. So, again, use that combination of words. Make a sentence, throw it into the chat, and we can, we can have a little chat about it as well. Like, uh, for example, this one, I added this one today because one of the students in my class said that she was in Spain when there was a terrorist attack. So I've added a terrorist attack as the possible thing that could happen when you're in another country. So while you guys are doing that, let me go through a few of the words. So some of the words that came up today, uh, you could be held up, and be held up means delayed, right? Like your flight is coming later, your flight is late. So my flight was held up, my flight was delayed, my flight was postponed, it came later. You can miss your flight, you can get or have uh, food poisoning. Right, you get sick because of the food. Your wallet might be stolen. Your wa my wallet was stolen. You might get lost. You might lose your way. You might go the wrong way. Right, so you're driving this way. You have you should go this way, but you go the wrong way. Uh, you could, you know, lose your wallet by accident. Not not somebody stealing it from you, but just totally an accident. Right, not your plan. Uh, you could go somewhere by accident or go the wrong way by accident good word by accident pick something up means buy or get whatever um, could be any of those you might get sick you might get ill you might get there we go you might have a terror there might be a terrorist attack that's possible you might fight with a friend somebody wrote that was a travel problem yeah I guess it could be you might have a fight with your friend you might lose something, you might, um, you might get or have bad accommodation. What is accommodation? Hotel, hostel, right? Any, any place you stay, Airbnb. Uh, your f something could be sold out, something could be overbooked. Your airplane could have a lot of turbulence. What is turbulence? When your airplane goes like this, that's called turbulence. So that could happen. So all of these things could definitely happen. So what of the, what of these things have uh, which of these things have happened to you? And again, we talked about these ones: grab, snatch. Maybe somebody snatched your purse, or somebody snatched your necklace. Maybe you were pickpocketed, like me, when you went to Italy and you were in Rome. So don't always listen to your friends. Never keep your wallet in your side pocket. That's stupid. Don't be stupid. Put it somewhere safe where nobody can grab it. And nobody wants to grab it. Um, okay, so tell me about yourself, guys. What uh, what exactly happened to you? Make some sentences. Use anything that you learned today, uh, and make a few sentences about yourself. Tell me about your your experience um, in another country. I can delete all that. Okay, so again, make some sentences. Um, make some sentences about yourself. Make your own list of things which could happen on vacation, but better yet, just talk about yourself. Tell me what happened to you in the past. So, yeah, when I was in Australia, I lived in Australia for three years. I definitely got sunburned when I went on vacation there because the sun is really strong. And if you if you spend if you spend even a short amount of time in the sun in Australia, you're going to get burned. What else? Uh, lots of bad things, I guess, that happen. Your maybe your car breaks down something like that. I remember I also almost died in Australia. We were driving. Uh, I don't know if you guys know where this is, but you know the Gold Coast in Australia. So the Gold Coast, oops, Gold Coast. 
This is the Gold Coast of Australia, so if you look at it on the map, there's a lot of stuff going on on this side here. And we were driving from one of the places on the Gold Coast uh, back to Brisbane, which was, which was just over here. And uh, one of my friends decided to drive, and we were driving on a dirt road, not a highway, but you know, one of those old, like, kind of a farm road. And he was going too fast, and uh, we, another car was coming, and he turned too sharp, and then the car started doing this. We call this fishtailing in English. If your car does this out of control, we call it fishtailing. So the car started fishtailing, and we were coming to a small little wooden bridge. And the car was doing this on the bridge, so I was trying to help my friend steer because I think he didn't really know what he was doing. And we went to the side of the bridge, and the car was like here, just like it could have gone this way or could have just stayed on the ground. And it, fortunately, it didn't do this. We went just like that. We destroyed the whole side of the car. But the other thing, if the car flipped, we would have been upside down in the water, in water, probably about 10 feet of water would have been scary. So that was the time that I almost died. That was fun. Uh, Munira, I lost my phone in a bus, on a bus, in Turkey. Fortunately, someone found it, someone picked it up and gave it to the driver. We found him at the station and got my phone back. Very nice. Uh, ka, ka. Uh, when I traveled to Europe, I suffered from insect, insect bites. I think the word you want to use is uh, bites. So let's add that. Insect bites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, insect bites, self-explanatory. Uh, Judith, when we were in Poland many years ago, we left the only key inside the borrowed flat which was on the third floor. We needed to call the fire station to help us retrieve the key. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's, go let's do this one. Um, lock yourself out. Lock someone, lock someone out. I'll use lock yourself. So lock yourself out. Imagine you forget your keys or you leave your keys inside the apartment or inside the hotel or whatever and you don't have keys on the outside, so you lock yourself out. Leave, forget keys inside, uh, inside place, and can't go back in. Yeah, this one happens at home, right, as well. You lock yourself, let me make that a little bit bigger. Sometimes you lock yourself out of your house, right? You forget your keys inside and you lock the door or automatic or something like that and then you can't go back in. It happens and then you have to break into your own house. So let's add that one. Break into something. Phrasal verb to force entry to something. Okay, so there you go, break into, break into your own place. Hello, Fatima, how you doing? All right, guys, so I think, if you guys have any more sentences, I think what we can do, um, let's see, what does Mudasir here say? So if something is going wrong on the way, we can also say off course, am I right? On the other hand, if it's going on the right way, we can say on course. Yes, you can say off course, like you are going off course, or this topic is off course. Dep you can say it sometimes. Usually course is about direction. So you can say you are driving off course or you could say on course. You'll, usually it's about movement. So yes, you can do that. Uh, Faith, I lost my voice for about, I lost my voice for about a week and I used my friend to call my family in order to translate my signs. Okay, there we go. You can lose your voice. It can happen. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get you guys, I know it's Monday, I'm probably pushing you guys too hard. So let's do this. I'm going to give you guys a video to watch. Uh, and what I'd like you guys to do is pretty easy. I would like you to watch the video and I would like you to describe what is happening in the video. Now I cannot put this video on my screen because there's some copyright problems, but I can share this video with you and you guys can check it out. So I'm going to give you this video. Oh no, now you guys, now these sentences are coming in. Okay, let me do these sentences and then I'll give you the video. Batter, my dad is an early riser and he was about to be mugged. Luckily, it was near our house and I was awake too, so I ran to help. When the guy saw me, he ran away, but injured my dad's 
injured my dad's hand. Tough story, tough story. Sorry to hear that. That's, uh, that's, this, that sucks. Raul, in Egypt, I lost my room key in a shop, S-H-O-P, and I spent the night outside the house. Okay, there we go. That can happen as well. Mariam, may meet, mm, whoa, 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 may meet boring program flow in your travel by the manager of agency. I'm not sure what's going on there. Judith needs the link, the video link. Okay, here comes the link, guys. Uh, I'm going to jump ahead so you guys can watch this. So go ahead, watch this video and describe the fails, describe the, what are they called? Um, the travel fails. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to keep myself busy. So here is your video. Go ahead, you can watch that. Uh, I will be here. I'm going to be looking at the same kind of thing, but maybe just pictures of uh, travel fails because I'm not allowed to show. So it's called Funny. Oh, that's what it is. It's Funny Tourist Fails. Enjoy the video. I'm going to look at a few others and maybe write a few more words while you guys are checking it out. So go ahead, watch that video. Come back and chat and please tell me uh, what happened. What happened in the video? Describe. Them. Okay, and while you guys are doing that, I'm going to look at funny things which can happen. So let's see here. Let's go back to Google. Problems which happen on vacation. All right, so let's take a look. I want to look at gifts because I love I love doing the gifts. Keeps me entertained. So let's see what are some problems which can happen. Let's see. This don't look like problems here. Out. Yeah, all right, this is not going to work for me. I'll go do a list. I'll go to the internet here and I'll take a look here. Mm -hmm. Do love memes. So let's do that. Problems which happen on vacation. Seven common vacation problems and how to avoid them. Let's see what we got here. Eh, no, I don't want that. Give me some new stuff. Vacation problems. Five most common things. There we go. Let's check out Huffington Post. <laughs> money, money, money. Yeah. How's the video going, guys? I'm not really finding a lot here. So go ahead, once you, guys, uh, once you guys are watching the video, I think you're watching it right now, please go ahead and describe if you can. I'm sure you're just, your mouth's open and you're probably laughing a lot, but once you're done that, once you're done laughing, please describe the video and tell me what you see in the video because I cannot watch it right now. So everything should be about travel problems and travel accidents, right? Uh, Mudasser, uh, but can we also say on course for an object, something you want to achieve or on its target? Give me an example, Mudasser, uh, and, and I'll try to give you, make sure you're on course. Mm -hmm. What else we got here? Looks like a common travel problems. Here we go. This is what I want. I wanted a list. That's all I wanted. All right, so let's see what the most common ones are. Yes, definitely your wallet getting stolen. That's a common one. Mm -hmm. Contact the police. Thank you so much. Great advice. Uh, ooh, here's a good one. Well, that's kind of interesting. Keep a decoy. So keep an extra wallet, like a fake wallet. So you can just like, with like a few dollars in it, so you can give them that. So you give them something, and then maybe they're happy and they walk away. That's a great idea. Maybe I will have a decoy wallet from now on. Or a decoy phone, boom. So there you go, that's a, that's a good idea. Look at that guy, look at how dangerous that guy is. What else we got? You're attacked by mosquitoes, yeah. Don't scratch. The more you scratch, the more it will itch and the area will become inflamed. Word of the day, inflamed, getting bigger. Yeah. Anyways, you can use tea tree oil, calamine lotion, no, 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 no. Top tips, always cover your arms and legs with insect repellent so repellent is the spray that contains DEET keep bedroom lights off in the evening and curtains closed bring a mosquito repelling plug-in okay there you go top tips there 
jet lag is ruining your holiday, that could definitely happen. Uh, okay, here we go. There, Lolly's got one. Jet lag is ruining your holiday. Set your watch on the plane, so set the time on the plane to the destination and avoid too much alcohol, caffeine, fat, and salt. If you arrive in daylight, stay awake and don't have any naps. Try to keep your body awake until it's really time to sleep. Uh, okay, so there you go. Prepare ahead of time by changing your sleeping and eating pattern. So before you go on holiday, try to change your time a little bit. Remember the rule, east to west is best, west to east is a beast. Okay, east to west is best, east to west is best. Okay, traveling east is worse for jet lag because we are trying to sleep when our bodies are waking up and it feels like you're waking up in the middle of the night. All right, there we go. All right, so I see some, some sentences are coming in. You guys watch the video. I know it's a funny video. I watched it earlier today. Uh, what do you got? So Lolly says, an amateur, an amateur acrobat fell and broke his chair. Yep, that could happen. Edgar, the monkey robbed the bag from the, uh, not robbed, you can say the monkey robbed the driver or the monkey stole the bag. So you rob someone and you steal something. So that's a good point. I should put that on my document. It's an important difference between those two. So you rob someone and you steal something and that shouldn't be on there. Let's see here. Where's rob? Okay, so let's put that here. Rob someone. And you steal something. Same answer. All right, anyone else got anything from the video? All right, we'll do one more quick check. And I think after that, I will let you guys go. So, any more sentences? So please come back if you're watching that video. Hopefully, you, you probably can't hear me you're watching that video. If you have any more sentences from that video, please tell me. Throw them into the chat. Uh, and I think that'll be, that'll be it for today. So I wish I could watch the video, but you know, YouTube has a lot of copyright rules, so I can't really watch. Ka, the girl. <laughs> The girl fell down, fell, F-E-L-L, -L, fell down on the beach. Yeah, that's a good one. You can definitely fall down as well, right? So let's add that to the list. Fall down. Phrasal verb. Okay, any more? No, not too many. Let's see here. How many people are there? No, I think, I think that's it. I think people are lost in the videos here. What do we got here? A few more. Uh, Edgar's got one. The seal grabbed the girl. Yeah, apparently that happened in Vancouver. Uh, the seal grabbed the girl and pulled her into the swimming pool, right? Uh, I think that was in Vancouver, actually. So the seal grabbed the girl and she fell, F-E-L-L, -L, in the water. Yep. Uh, Mudasser, okay, for instance, I'm a student and I'm studying so hard. I want to become a teacher in the future. I don't waste, W-A-S-T-E, my time. I always, I am always on course. That would work. You could say that, Mudasser. You could also say, I always stay on track. That's another way to say on course. It's another way. So both, both of those are possible. Mariam, splashing water over other people. Yes, somebody splashed water. I don't remember who that was. Rima, someone was standing on a surfboard. Apparently, he lost his balance and he fell off. Yeah, we call those ones a paddleboard. Um, that's another thing we use. I won't put that there, but it's called a, a paddleboard because the action is paddling, and it is a board, so we call it a paddleboard. Uh, Nor, the seal pulled a small girl. Yep, and her father rescued her. It was a scary situation. Yeah, that one was pretty pretty crazy, right? Cool. Very nice. Judith, the lady was a, a little, a little overweight, and the temporary gate collapsed. No was collapsed, just the gate collapsed under her. Row, uh, the bull was angry when he saw the red robe. Yeah, that's definitely possible. 
Yes, I saw that one. The camel spit on the guy. That was uh, that happens, eh? I've heard about that. Better maybe you know more about camels than I do, but uh, yeah, I guess that one could happen. Eh? You've, have you ever been spit on by a camel? Uh, could happen, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay, popular one. The <laughs> the camel, yes, the camel that spit on the man. Yeah, it was pretty funny. The monkey, the monkeys. A lot of guys got bitten by monkeys, right? Um, bitten by something so where did I have that mosquito insect bites or you could say be bitten by something so it's kind of a combination of words you can use so I was bitten by mosquitoes um, I was bitten by a monkey you could be bitten by a monkey that's possible faith a pretty child tries to climb the stairs in the picture okay and where's the fail something happens uh, fell down maybe fall down I don't know if I saw that one what was the end result okay guys we're gonna do two more and then I think we're gonna call it quits for today but you guys feel free to watch some more videos two more sentences give me from the video if you have I wish I could watch the video but I can't uh, the seal that pulls the waterproof why waterproof the seal the seal pulled the girl into the water yeah David I think the camel didn't spit those are llamas l a l a m a s maybe I, I don't know a llama and a camel oh, good question I don't know I thought they were camels but camel spit I don't know if llamas spit do they Hello, Batter. You're uh, you're a little bit late, buddy. Not Batter, not Batter Bana. You're on time, but uh, Batter Almala. You're a little bit late, buddy. We're just kind of wrapping up the class, but um, I'll give you the document we've been working on today, just so you can take it home, and you can always go back and watch the smart class later. We've been talking about travel accidents and problems abroad. All right, so let's wrap it up for today. Last one here. We got. Adam, same thing, buddy. You just missed the class. Class is all over, but uh, you can always come back next week. We're going to be back at the same time, 3 p.m. Vancouver time next week. Marjorie, someone was playing with, with a shark, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it was something jumped up and grabbed it from his hand, right? Judith, thank you so much for your efforts and dedication throughout the year. Your polite professional nitpicking when correcting mine and others' mistakes helps you a lot. No problem, Judith. I'm here to nitpick for you. It's my job. Uh, I've always learned more from my and other people's mistakes than never-ending proficiency. That's true. You do learn a lot more from your mistakes. So uh, I'm glad you enjoy my nitpicking, and I will continue to nitpick and uh, try to p help you guys find your mistakes, your common mistakes for sure. All right, guys, so I think that's it for me today. I think, we've, I think I've done my job. I've given you a list of vocabulary, everything that you can use to describe travel problems when you're on vacation. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you didn't uh, happen to come on time, that's okay. Come back next week. We are here uh, Mondays. I am here. And a little announcement. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Kareem is going on vacation for all of August. So I'm going to be doing his class for this month on Wednesday in August so I'm doing that's that's a lot of me so if you're getting tired of Kent and his craziness uh, I'll understand but if you guys have any suggestions do you want to do some kind of uh, some particular kind of English please tell me and that will give me some more ideas to try and give you some more variety in the stuff that I'm teaching okay so if you have any ideas for any upcoming classes I will be teaching Kareem's class on Wednesdays for this month until he comes back uh, if you guys have any ideas, anything you want to learn, please hit me up in the chat. Tell me what you want to learn, and I'll, be, I'll try to do my best to, to help you guys out with that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, that's it for me. I'll be back on Wednesday. So we got three times. Please remember these times. We got Monday, 3.30 p.m., Wednesday, 3 p.m., and Thursday, 2.30 p.m., all of this Vancouver time. Please come back. If you weren't on time today, no problem. Check out the video. Come back next week, this week, all this stuff. Academic writing? Could probably do a little bit on academic writing, Adam. We'll see. I'll try to keep it fun because I'm not sure everybody loves the academic writing, but I think I can do a little bit on that. So other than that, big kiss. Have a great day, my international crew. Keep it real. Stay, stay away from the dangerous places when you go abroad. 
stay away from dangerous food, Edgar. That's for you, buddy. When you go abroad, try to stick to the stick to the good places that won't give you the give you the runs. Have a great week, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Bye bye.